Hello everyone and welcome to the MMA Take YouTube channel and we are back for episode 2 of the Platinum Mike Perry career mode. Um, if you guys haven't already seen the first episode, the link will be in the description below. Go and check that video out. It was a lot of fun. Uh, Platinum Mike Perry is a fucking beast. Um, as always, uh, you know, leave a like if you enjoy the video at any point. You know, Leave me a comment uh, if you want me to do anything specifically in the career mode. Um, like I say, the, the I'll be checking comments pretty frequently between recording these. So any feedback you guys have for me, do let me know in the description down below. Um, shout me a tweet at the MMA pod. At the MMA take. I always say the MMA pod. It's the fucking MMA take. Regardless, the link is in the description below. And all the podcast uh, stuff is in the, uh, the, uh, in the description down below. But nevertheless, enough of the bullshit. We're not here for the podcast or any bollocks like that. We are here to accept a fucking fight against Charlie Marshall, who's 5 and 4. That is a salty record against 0 and 2 Platinum Mike Perry. Let's fucking go. We have four weeks to prepare for this fight. It is the third fight in uh, Platinum Mike Perry's career. Let's schedule that camp, though. Let's go back to the good old trusty... Um, boxing uh gym and i uh oh what's this todd green at todd green wfa hey at platinum mike perry you've been killing the wfa dana white will be scouting talent for dana white is looking for a fight tv show at your next fight put on a show could you could be the next possible ticket to the usc damn son you know what let's just give a fucking platinum mike perry um response no doubt this will be an easy path to the UFC because it will be. Who is getting accepted to the UFC in a three and zero though? What the fuck? So if I win this fight, I'm gonna get accepted into UFC. Well, that's shocking because if anyone did that in real life and they accepted a fight on a three and zero contract, uh, on a three and zero win streak, ah, uh, what the fuck? But nevertheless, fuck it. Just let them do what they gotta do. As you can see, um, I would do some more, um. Uh, learning more thingies but I can't because I need to be a prospect and at the moment I don't even know what the fuck I even am at this point so I might as well just keep uh, banging out these um, these stats so for two weeks I'm going to do strike speed, power and endurance uh, and then for the other two weeks I'm going to be doing like the, the stamina, the fucking the one for stri uh, strike stamina or whatever it's called um, I'll show you in a second um, yeah I'll show you guys in a sec you know, Platinum Mike Perry with us, 35 fans. You know, big up, big up, big up Mike. And yeah, this is the other one I'm going to alternate around. Uh, accuracy, chin strength, and strike stamina. Just because I think the strike stamina is such a big part, especially if I will be going into UFC pretty soon, I need to get that strike stamina up way higher. Just because, fuck's sake, look, come on now. I don't want to be in the first round getting gassed out, which we nearly happened to us in that last fight. You know, even though it only lasted a round, half of that stamina was gone when that first round. But you know what? Accuracy and chin strength, just after working on it for a few weeks, is very high 90s. So that's got to mean for something. But obviously, last week of training camp now, and we're just going to be banging out strike speed, power, and endurance. Um, these only go up uh, 0 6, 0 nine and not seven at a time so not really massively jumping um high but you know what that power is going up pretty nicely and as you can see uh going into our third fight now our striking is at 71 grappling at 59 stamina at 73 and health at 77 i'm not gonna lie i will be looking to um to do some wrestling soon just purely because oh the uh the legend matt Serra shouting a tweet at me hey kid good luck in your fight and it disappeared off screen brilliant i hope you guys read that before i fucking could <laughs> um fuck's sake <laughs> Jeez. but yeah nevertheless here we go last fight potentially in wfa let's see if we lose uh why does dana white want to watch platinum white perry get wrecked big up ufc3 for spending wrecked getting down with the kitty lingo fucking hell fair play oh god we've got a vignette Dana White. I don't want to get copyrighted. Will I get copyrighted for this bullshit? I highly doubt it. But yeah, you know what? I'm just going to talk about this shitty video anyway. So don't think it will let me skip it. Oh, it will. Thank fuck for that. But nevertheless, 
Dana White looking for a fight. With there's been like two famous people that have actually come off that in real life. One being Mickey Go and one being Sage Northcutt. What is it with everyone in the, this division having ten centimeters over Mike Perry? What the fuck? Why is Mike is Mike Perry just naturally small for this white class? But anyway, back to the first thing in hand. Um, as this fight kicks off, um, yeah, they really need to sack that show off, man. Like, no one watches it. Jesus Christ, him with a massive body shot. Oh, this guy's gonna be a piece of shit. I can tell already. Fucking hell. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, bitch. Caught that kick. Oh, let's go now. Nah, nah, nah. Come. Yeah, yeah. With a with a spinning back fist. Oh, little motherfucker. Yeah, you know what? Have a body kick. They don't feel that fucking good. Oh, you know what? That left leg is getting chewed up. I'll tell you one thing though. If he keeps throwing that le that kick, I'm gonna be catching that all day long. Oh, what the fuck? How many days off of that? That's nice. Oh, he's hurt. We've hurt the body. Oh, spinning back fist to the face. Oh, back to the body. He's struggling. He is struggling. Oh, that was awful. That was it again. First round. You know what? This is going to be ending soon. Let me just... Oh, front kick to the face. You know what? Boom. For fuck's sake. Okay, you know what? He's coming for me now. Body kick. Oh, he's taking that leg out of me. Oh, oh, I'm trying to keep it. You know what? I thought I had him then. Never mind. Let's try and get back to some actual commentary now. Keeping that distance, you know, halfway through that round. Oh, with a nice jab. He goes towards my body. I need to go for his body again. Fucking front kick to the face. His stamina is pretty low, though. So I say, you know what? Let's just fucking go for him now. Getting the hooks in. Getting those hooks in. Overhand right. His head is dazed. Let's give him a sec. Give him a sec. Boom. Kick to the body. Oh, I was going to go for a spinning back face. But he's dazed me with a jab. What the fuck? You know what? I want to keep my distance and hope he throws a leg kick. Oh, fuck. He went for the face. I was hoping he'd go for the body. So I could catch it. And he's gone for my... Oh, you know what? That tactic is not fucking working. Holy shit. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. Let's go. Jab. Oh, fucking hell, Mike. Get that jab going. Get that jab going. Mm, okay, you know what? I'm a chill. Because CBA to get knocked out in this round because I feel like I've won it. Overhand right. There we go. Oh my fucking god. Holy shit. Oh <laughs> no. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> no way. I was fully expecting to win that fight. And he goes in. And I want to say I was dipping. Oh no. I was going in for overhand right. And he just hits me clean on the fucking jaw. Oh. Well. So much for Dana White's fucking looking for a fight. Oh for God's sake. I was looking forward to jumping into UFC. I might like one of the first ever YouTubers to not get into the fucking UFC straight away. Jesus Christ. To be fair though. I knocked him down twice. Like for God's sake. I had more significant strikes. But to be fair, we um in terms of total strikes we're pretty pretty even. Um Oh god damn it. I thought I, I fucking I thought I was gonna have that. Uh, well I'm not even gonna be three and oh going into talented, tough guy. With a few more fights, this kid will get there. Just needs to keep working at it. Since when is Dana White ever that nice? What the fuck? <laughs> is that that post Maymac shit? What the fuck? Anyway, that is good in. I can't believe that. I've never been what well, I have, but you know, oh, that's just gutting, man. You know, completely battering the guy and then fucking getting um, getting hit clean on the jaw like that is not fun. I know, Plat and you know what? I know Platinum Mike Perry is a baller, but I do want to do some grappling. And I know that Boxing Gym did have some, some, some grappling. I know this guy has got better grappling than me. Um, I've already fought this this wild guy, so you know what? Let's just go for, um, yeah, let's just go for this first guy. What's his name? Dominic Sanchez. Uh, fuck it. Uh, I all I think pretty evenly matched up, but yeah, um, I know he's. I I, I do want to get Platinum Mike Perry's wrestling up because I feel like in that fight, in that last minute, I could have just done. We've got into the ground. I do not have enough cash. 
What? No way. I only can do a weeks of training. Oh my god, this is depressing. Holy, we're gonna have to work in the home made gym. Oh, this is so depressing. Well, so much for working wrestling. Um, I don't think we can be much of doing much of that. What can you even train? Um, jump rope, which helps with my um. Uh, strike stamina and chin strength then we have the neighborhood bike ride which goes heart leg strength and endurance shadow boxing strike speed and stamina okay i like that one protein shake does toughness and bicep curls does power and blocking you know what for two weeks i'm just gonna um you know what this is only 10 at a time and how often does it go up it goes up pretty poorly to be fair but you know what i'll just work this for two weeks the strike speed and strike stamina for two weeks and then I'll do um, I'll do the bicep curls for um, for the other two weeks but look at this fucking hell injured again minor injury fucking my strike speed has gone down by one fucking well that's annoying and now it's gone by down by two oh, for god's sake <laughs> Platinum my parody, this was going so well. The first episode was going so well. What the fuck happened? But anyway, you know what? Let's just improve that power. I'm blocking. Um, just cause, oh for God's sake, that grap. I really did want to work on grappling for this um for this training camp. And for I fucking too poor to even even go gym. So yeah, gotta work it hard. For fuck's sake, that's actually the first time that's actually ever happened, which is very annoying um you know what seeing as that strike speed is done for i might as well do this one it's the same amount of points but i get chin strength at the same time so fuck it at least it won't affect oh for god's sake what is it with this and just getting absolutely trapped injured like there's no tomorrow i've got two, minus two leg strength and then minus two strike speed for fuck sake Let's hope I don't get kicked in the leg. Right, that strike stamina has gone up so high now, which is very, very ideal. And then for the last week, we are going to be banging out power and blocking. And um, to be fair, we're looking pretty well in terms of everything but grappling. I really do want to work on grappling. You know, our stats at the end of this fight camp are 73 for striking. Fucking 59 for grappling, 76 for stamina, and 77 for health. So, pretty well rounded, bar the the, the wrestling. So, really, I'm, I'm not really round rounded. But, um, to be fair, I've never been in this position before, so I don't know if I win this fight. Is it if I win this fight, will I get into the UFC, or do I have to win a few more? Um, fucking hell, let's, let's fucking, let's, <laughs> let's find out. Um, Oh fuck's sake! I hope I hope I do it because it's just gonna piss me off if I don't now. Um, WFA in, 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 in all of its glory, but anyway, tell the tape. Me versus Dem Dominic Sanchez again. He's taller. Our reach is the same though, so ah, <sighs> I know he's got a good ground game because I remember seeing that at the start when you get to pick the fighters. But I'm just gonna go for the way I did it that last time. Just fucking go out. Don't even want to touch gloves. You fucking piece of shit, man. That's it. I'm going for you. But wait, why is he not throwing anything? I promise I have not put this back on easy mode. What the fuck's going on? Okay, you know, it's definitely not on easy mode. My head's gone. Boom. Like, you know what? We need to start going for that body kick just because it needs to get done. If he wants to leave his head open, I'm going to use it as a punt bag. Fucking one uppercut. I need to start using the uppercut some more if it fucking does that much damage. Jesus Christ. His head is looking pretty poor right now. Spinning back fist to the face. Boom, overhand right. Yeah. He's a... This will be... Jesus, quicker than I thought. No, 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 no. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Body kick. Boom. Spinning back fist. Let's get some overhand rights in this eventually. He's too close. Just going to hook him. Let's go to the body one more time with that kick. Overhand right. Oh, nearly. One more overhand right. Should be doing this. Alright, stamina's low. Boom, body kick though. 
again with cutting cut him up for either. Come on, I fucking leaned into that overhand right as well. Oh shit, okay, he's taking me down. Let's see if we can get to his backside. We won our second UFC fight from this position. Let's see if we can do the same thing. And no, we can't. All right, let's get up. Let's get back up. Two and a half minutes. I do not want to grapple this guy. He's got much better wrestling than I have. Um, his head is in disarray, though. Overhand right. Come on. I'm just landing to this guy's head. Like, there is no fucking tomorrow. Spinning back fist. Body kick. It's just the same old overhand right. Come on, this guy's made out of fucking steel. Is he come out the same tra training camp as Justin fucking Gaethje? I swear to God, if I get caught again, because this is what happened to me in the last fight, absolutely bossing the game, and I get caught. But you know what, these, these, these hooks are doing damage, to be fair. His head is mangled. There we go. Got him, got him in a corner now. Just going to keep teeing off in his face. Boom, body kick, body kick. He just doesn't want to throw anything. I don't know if has the game glitched. I'm just going to keep throwing, but you know what? My stamina has gone to shit. I was really hoping for a first round TKO, man. I thought I'd had him. Overhand right again. He's going for the wrestling again. Let's see if we can get back into the backside. We can with ease. 30 seconds left of the round. Let's see if we can win from this position that we did in our second fight. And you know what? He's not answering any of these fights. We have 10 seconds to go. Oh, the lucky shit. Let's just hit him with some elbows now from this position. He's always oh, offering me the backside again. Oh, he's defended it. Five seconds to go. Yeah, it's safe to say that that was the first round. For fuck's sake, you know what? He got the two takedowns, but I did knock him out or knock him down in um in the in the uh, in that first round. So I want to say that I got I just got the edge in that first round, but um fucking hell, you never know. But okay, don't show us any highlights then. Let's uh. Let's let's just carry on where we left off. I do not. I, I want an early stoppage now. His head. He's struggling with that head now. He's struggling a lot with that head. Let me regain some stamina. Boom. Overhand right on the button. Yeah. It's, it's got to be game over soon now. Come on. Oh, there it is. The, the spinning back fist putting him on his back. And now let's just hit him with some elbows. Repeated elbows on the ground and pound. And there we go. Platinum Mike Perry with his third win coming off of that loss that devastating uppercut loss in our last fight um but yeah spinning back fish there to knock him down beautiful and then jumping in to his uh in his guard on the on the ground vicious elbows to the face knocking him out and there we go platinum mike perry bouncing back after the loss finally do we get that chance to go to the ufc yet or what what's going on um, as you can see, he had three knockdowns in the fight. He threw eight significant strikes and fucking four landed. I threw 102 significant strikes and 55 landed. Jesus Christ, I batted the piss out of this guy. Um, let's see, longevity down a bit. Have we got enough money now to finally go train in a decent gym so I can get that stamina up, for, for God's sake? Um, but yeah, um, as always, guys, uh, I'll be ending the video there. Two fights in. Um, for God's sake, let's just hope we get that call from the UFC soon and uh, and get a chance to to go into the UFC. But yeah, nevertheless, I want to thank you all for watching um, this video. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you enjoyed the content in general around here. You know, all feedback and comments are appreciated as always. Podcast every Monday. These are uploaded every now and then, like every other day or every day. I'm enjoying them, so fucking why not? Uh, this has been the MMA Take YouTube channel, and I thank you all for watching the second episode of the Platinum Mike Perry uh, career mode, and I'll catch you all next time. Cheers.